Here's the full story of Simon Cook and Lisa Zemo. <laughs> this love story began with Lisa sniffing Cookie out in the cafeteria. I, I like your coat. <laughs> when it came to love, Simon wasn't the smartest cookie in the jar, but his compatibility with Lisa was written in the stars. I mean, the computer. My new perfect match computer program tells me exactly whom I should be matched up with and get on tease they'll like me back. I simply feed the computer some basic facts about myself and it comes up with the perfect match. I'm thinking international supermodel, Martika. Computer scanning. Perfect match, perfect match. Lisa Zima, Lisa Zima, Lisa Zima. The, the system needs a little tweak. It will be Martika. Cookie's arrogance wouldn't stop Lisa from trying to get his attention. Would, would you like to dance with me? Sorry, but I'm obviously with someone. Someone who isn't here yet. But we'll be here shortly. Then can I dance next to you while you stand there? Sure, I guess that would be okay. Dancing wasn't the only time Lisa stayed by Cookie's side. Even when technology failed him, Lisa didn't. Are you okay? I don't know my schedule. I don't know where to go. Your schedule is the same as mine. Come with me. I'll help you. You're a nice lady. Oh, wait, it's that way. It's corn. You like corn. Is he okay? He just forgot he likes corn. Corny or not, Lisa was willing to stop at nothing to get that cookie sugar. 8.46, time to hit Lisa Zemo. What? That can't be right. Well, if Pal says we have to. Kiss Lisa, kiss Lisa, kiss Lisa. You acted in the pal, didn't you? What gave it away? I had my suspicions when we were roller skating. Then the Twiddler just fell out of your pocket. You invaded my personal computer space. You almost made me kiss you. I am very impressed. Impressed? But not in love, especially since Cookie's eyes were on another woman. You're gonna be Moses' date tonight. <sighs> Sorry, I know she's very attracted to me, but I'm asking Vanessa to around the world. And around the world he went. I'm sorry, Simon, but every time I say yes to a date, something goes crazy. We should remain friends. But tomorrow's the last day of school and we might never see each other again. <laughs> You're being a bit dramatic. Lisa wants to offer you a non-committal date for around the world night. In exchange for a yes, you'll receive this beautiful handmade sweater and a CD of her favorite computer macros. Yet at the same time, you are in no obligation to call her or can she refer to you as her boyfriend. And if things don't work out, I get to keep the sweater and the macros? Okay, I'll go. Great, I'll see you tonight, Simon. Finally, things were looking up for Cookie and Lisa's relationship. How sweet, you're taking Lisa. Okay, you're right, and really funny. So I'd love to go to Around the World Night. Or maybe not. Yes! No! Just so you know, double dating doesn't mean you bring two dates. What am I gonna do? Vanessa's my dream girl, but I don't want to hurt Lisa's feelings. You'll, You'll think, think of something. something. Thinking without technological help was never Cookie's strong suit. So he attempted to date Vanessa and Lisa at the same time. You can imagine how that went. He's on a date with me. Here's a funny story. Here's another one. Bye. I asked Vanessa before you asked me, but she said no, and then she said yes after I said yes to you, and... It's okay. I was a no obligation, remember? It didn't take Cookie long to realize his obligation was to Lisa. Do you want to dance? No. Nice sweater, though. Well, can I dance next to you? That you're a really great dancer. I am pretty good. <laughs> Don't sweat it, you guys. Their relationship was finally on the up. Just in time for a new semester and a new 
Lisa. I got my braces off too. And new allergy medication and contacts. From snotty to hotty, Cookie couldn't help but take notice. Suddenly the tables turned and Cookie knew he must dash Lisa out. Take a closer look. Cool, you're getting a mustache. I have a mustache. And once Lisa gets a look, it'll be goodbye boys and hello the man. Uh, hey Simon, um, I think you have something on your face. I know. Would you like to touch it? Sure. Is that blueberry muffin? <laughs> Cookie's infatuation with the new Lisa intensified, but so did allergy season. Hey! The pollen count is really high, and my allergy medicine isn't working. This is the only hypoallergenic outfit I have left. <laughs> But I'm looking forward to spending the day with you, Simon. <laughs> so was Cookie only interested in Lisa because of her new looks? Or was there more to this than meets the eye? Simon! I can't help it, I'm shallow. Look. Lisa is one of the sweetest girls in this school. So don't concentrate on her looks. Concentrate on all the wonderful things she's done for you. <laughs> okay, I made those up. But Lisa would do those things for me if I deserved it. She's the girl for me and I'm gonna tell her. Clearly, Cookie was going to need to pull out all the stops to win Lisa over. Whether it was making her jealous... I'm not the jealous type. If you're happy, I'm happy. I'll let you take it back to your lunch. Or becoming an actual superhero. I found a way to separate myself from Lisa's back. What do girls love most in a guy? Honesty, a sense of humor... No! Superhero! Lois Lane loves Superman, Mary Jane loves Spider-Man, and Lisa will love... <laughs> The Steel Eagle. The Steel Eagle fights for justice, protects the class on field trips, and will impress Lisa so much she'll get pizza with me and we'll live happily ever after. Or this is a sign that you have finally lost your mind. It was a last-ditch effort to make this relationship official. Would Steel Eagle steal Lisa's heart? Or would he end up a stale cookie? You are all heroes as crazy and annoying as they've been all day. They saved this museum from losing its most valuable possession. So we're not in trouble? And we have permission to be here? Yeah, what the heck. Uh, excuse me, Steel Eagle? <sighs> Would you like to get some pizza after school today? Finally, the eagle had landed, and this relationship was off to its happily ever after. I get my pizza date with Lisa, and I'm going to meet her there. And we all live happily ever after. <laughs>